It's a newly expanded law just recently went into effect in Virginia gives newborns and their parents a better chance at life. That law known as Safe Haven aims to legally protect parents who surrender their baby and now they have more time to do that. News Bureau reporter Antoinette Delbell tonight with the amendment and a local woman who was instrumental in getting the law enacted nearly 20 years ago. No, it was wonderful. We were so relieved and so pleased. Filled in Sonia Nackman's scrapbook, memories and accomplishments of a groundbreaking law the Newport News mother and grandmother fought for. It is a win-win situation for everybody. You know, the baby wins, the mother wins. You know, everyone wins. It's a fight that goes back nearly two decades. Nackman pushed to get the safe haven law passed in Virginia after it was adopted in more than two dozen states. It offers legal protections for parents who safely turn over their babies to a hospital or EMS agency, including fire stations. The baby would be safe and hopefully be with a family who loved it and could take care of it and give it certain advantages. Now, the time frame to surrender a baby has been extended extended, allowing parents to hand over their newborn up to a month old instead of 14 days old. This is our story right here. For Newport News mother Janet Glassoffer, the journey to help see the law through is personal. We knew about her when she was four days old and we got our hands on her when she was two weeks. Years ago, her daughter was found left alone in a hospital. She was just a few days old. I'm grateful that my daughter was cared for. Uh, for four days. That doesn't happen to all babies. And it, this law makes it much more likely to happen. And soon more people will know about the law. The state's social services department is working on launching an awareness campaign and will soon set up a 24-hour hotline. In Newport News, Antoinette Delbell, News 3.